The game of life can pull off some tricky moves sometimes, sharp turns that get us off balance. But once we learn to hold our own, some surprises might be in store. Coming of age in the South on opposite sides of the troubling experiences of the Civil Rights Movement era, Bob Gossett and I share a curious bond. It has continued for years beyond his Race and Change oral history interview to other conversations one-on-one. Considering, you know, when we grew up, so you were sort of literally sitting on the other side of the, the counter or sitting at the counter when I was outside, was there any point of questioning during those growing up years while segregation was going on? No, not really. It was not a point of questioning myself. It was the old adage, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know, but to me, it wasn't broken. What was wrong with segregation? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I looked at it from my point of view, not from the other point of view. Uh, segregation worked, quote unquote. It, busing integration was a problem, an inconvenience. Um, I never thought of the other side of it. Today, um, you know, my, my kids are as comfortable um, not seeing any, dis any difference or distinction between the races. Um, you know, my son thinks the, the, the best person to ever walk the face of the earth besides Gandhi, perhaps, was Martin Luther King. Um, and when you were growing up, what was the attitude? Martin Luther young? King was a troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. to, to us white folks, uh, Martin mm -hmm. Luther King was a troublemaker. You, you can try to avoid stepping out of your comfort zone, but inevitably something will happen to you mm -hmm. that hits home mm -hmm. because then you experience it. It may not be color, but it can end up being something else, and that's something we're always warring against as, uh, as human beings. Progress and change uh, probably will come about as the more we interact. I hope that, um, uh, I hope that we can approach everything with a certain degree of honesty and integrity, and if we do, then there's no difference between the races, there's no difference between homosexual and straight, there's no difference between man and woman. Right. Uh, yeah. so. so honesty and, um, and integrity, that's pretty good. We're working on it. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>